Hi guys, today we are here with a little haul, a little wax haul. I am fighting a cold, so you're gonna hear me sniffing, coughing, all that gross stuff, and I'm so sorry. But I've been trying to fight this cold for like two weeks now, and it's spring break for a lot of people, so my sister and my brother and everybody has off, so that's why they're working at the restaurant, and I get to relax and, you know, tell my body, okay, you need time to sleep, here you go, sleep and relax and get better. But it's not listening. Yeah, your body is never listening to you. You know, it's gonna do what it wants to do. So this cold is killing me. I hate the stuffy nose. I hate the coughing. The worst thing in the world to me is cough. It keeps you up all night. As soon as you lay down to sleep, that's when they're like, no, no, no. You think you were gonna sleep? No. Here's your cough. Go ahead and hack up a lung, you know. <coughs> there you go. So the vendor we have, um, we're talking today, or we're hauling today, is K, K A E, and the owner is Carla. Um, Carla is super nice. She's a super nice lady. We talk. Um, I actually message her, and we message back and forth about my order and stuff like that. And she asked me about my um, shipping address because she was hit hard with the shipping because it was she thought it was APO or military and I was like no it's just a regular address but because maybe because it's Hawaii and that's probably why um, so join her Facebook um, group I'm gonna leave the link to her Facebook group down on the bottom so you know you can see when maybe she have specials or deals or stuff like that mm, check I always say to join if you can join wax group chat and wax group um, as well there's the chronicle uh, wax group that is really good so yeah wax chronicle the wax chronicle is also a great group um, the wax chat is also a great group too she sent out chocolate can't be eating this right now because of my cough but it's much appreciated thank you so much Carla and let's get to what I got shall we um, let's go with the sheets first. These are so cute. They kind of remind me of Barrett's sheets as well. I don't know if you ever um, got from uh, Barrett's Craft Wax or Wax Craft. The sheets is almost similar to this one, but this one is two-toned. Super, super cute. I think adorable. I tend not to get super cute shape because A, I'm just going to be chopping up anyway. Um... And yeah, so to me, I feel like oh, I'm gonna be ruining their hard work and everything like that. So I prefer loaves. I prefer bigger quantity as well. But like I said, so cute. This one, and I labeled mine the date that I got, the, um, the name of the vendor, and then the name of the scent, and then the description. It's just because I like to know when I got it, what I got, who I got it from. So this is Relax. Relax is lavender, chamomile, and sweet mint. And if you've been following my channel, you know I love lavender. You know I love mint. <clears throat> oh, and this is this is the love. Oh, and the chamomile is right at the end. Um, I'm not I'm not pretty sh I'm not sure what la chamomile smell like. I think it's a tea, but this this is good. This is a like I said. This is a love. I also got lavender chamomile, which is lavender chamomile blossom and sandalwood. Another probably another love, yeah. It's light. I gotta admit, it's lighter than the other one. On cold, this might need a little curing. Yes, and it's not helping that I have a cold. Sweet slumber, which is. Um, lavender, vanilla, fresh cotton, fresh citrus, floral, and moss. So I'm thinking it's more of a clean. Um, I'm, I'm wondering why would it say sleep slumber. I get more clean than... Like, I would name relax, sweet slumber, and sweet slumber, relax. Yeah, because this has fresh cotton, like more clean and citrus. Yeah. Just that's just me though. I mean, I I think it's more. It's not as sweet as it put out to be, you know. Because the name is Sweet Slumber, so I would think it's like sweet marshmallow, sweet lavender kind of deal. I also got vanilla lavender, which is Spanish lavender and Madagascar 
uh, vanilla. So I got also got vanilla lavender, which is Spanish lavender, Madagascar vanilla. I don't know the difference between like the different places of lavender, but it's good. Yeah, it's it's good. Still a little light to if to be honest, it's, it's still a little light. Headache soother, which is peppermint cooling eucalyptus. Love my mint. I didn't know mint is a headache soother, but oh, it's more like a sinus. Oh, it just cleared up all my sinus. Oh, that is actually that's really good. I might melt it tonight. It's strong. Oh, it's gonna clear whatever I have all that gunk up there. Oh, this is yeah. Oh no, this is going on the side. This is going into the melter tonight. Oh, that is. I also got lavender lemon, which is tangy lemon, citrus, soft lavender flower. Oh, after that one, this one is very light, and usually lemon is a very, you know, strong smell, but yeah. Yeah, this is, this is light compared to that headache, headache soother. Um, black chamomile, black chamomile is coconut water, chamomile, tea leaves, wild lily, and tonka bean. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, it's a very sweet, um, sweet tea kind of scent. It has that hint of coconut, but it's not that coconut where I'm like, Ugh, too much coconut in here. Not like serendipity or other coconut that I've had before. <clears throat> Enter Sandman. Lavender, marshmallow, peppermint candy. Mm, this is going to be good. This is going to be good, guys. Oh, and it is. It's your typical lavender, mint, and marshmallow scent. <clears throat> Very good. Um, bedtime Baby, which is a Johnson & Johnson bedtime bath fragrant, calming and soothing. So it's that purple sh um, baby shampoo, I'm thinking. Uh, it's been a while since I bought those baby shampoo. But yeah, I can... I can see that. I can see that. <clears throat> I get that in there. I also got black amber lavender. So it's amber, Parisian lavender, black myrrh, vanilla, tonka bean, Egyptian musk, and clary sage. That's a lot. And it's nice. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Yeah, that's nice. And the reason why I like to uh, label everything out by scent is because I do store all my wax in bags, in PP, um, you know, propyl propylene, polypropylene bags in scent family. So like all the lavender go in, lavender and mint go in one bin or these ottoman right here, they're my wax container. You know, all coffee goes over here and fruity and bakery. So. That's how I like that, and that's why I like to label it. And then I also picked up four of her coffee scent. Um, these were the only four that I saw. <clears throat> I got Tristan Tristan Toffee Coffee. <clears throat> I did not pick up the um, scent description because I'm like, I probably if I like it, I'll pick up more because I only got two ounce in them. So I just wanted to see what it's like. Oh, and this is good. Oh, this is very good. And it's such a good coffee. Oh, I like really sweet, creamery coffee kind of scent. Oh, and it's, it's good. Oh, that one is good. Yeah, it's going into the coffee bin. Oh. That needs to be ordered more. I also got espresso. Oh, this one is also good. This one is stronger. Stronger in the coffee, less sweet. Oh, also good. I like my coffee 
any kind of way. I like French vanilla coffee, hazelnut coffee, espresso. I like that. Sneaker coffee. So I think there's chocolate in here. Because, you know, sneaker is a chocolate bar. I think that's the one kind of coffee I'm not a big fan of is chocolate. Because I don't like chocolate scent. Yeah. Not... I gotta say, on cold, this is not my favorite. It has more of that chocolate scent rather than the coffee scent. But you know, once we warm it, it totally could change. Like, it could be the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, I'm gonna wait and see how that goes. Hazelnut coffee. Oh. I don't know. I might like... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, this is... Is it more nuts it's a little bit but it's good oh this is good hazelnut coffee is also very good so out of the four coffee the Tristan toffee coffee espresso and hazelnut win um, sneaker not so much so yes and that's where the coffee is so that's where it's gonna stay I also grabbed one marshmallow fireside everybody know what marshmallow fireside is cedar wood toasted marshmallow vanilla Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more smoky. That cedar wood is stronger in here. It's not as sweet as other marshmallow fireside. Not bad though. But I only got one, uh, one two ounce scent shot. I got, um, it's not, it's not, side, sinus, <laughs> sinus relief, new formula. Effervescent camphor, eucalyptus, menthol, and rosemary mint. So between this and the headache soother, let me see which one. Because I have a sinus problem right now. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's mixed in a wax. Oh, this is, yeah, no, this is stronger. Yeah. Okay, so let me, you're going to go back into that box. I ordered a two, cent, um, two ounce scent shot. And because I guess she doesn't have. So she sent me two one ounce, which is kind of cool because most places would be like, okay, no, we don't have it. So yeah, you're not going to get your wax. But no, Carla just sent me in two ounce and kept it moving. Oh, but this is good actually. Huh. I don't know what those little thing are that it's coming out of there. I wonder what that is. Kind of crazy looking. Hmm, interesting. There's little. There's little. I don't know if you see it. There's little chunk in there that's coming out of there. Interesting. Oh well. But yeah, that smells really good though. So this is actually gonna be what I'm gonna be melting. I also got uh, sandalwood and fig. I love sandalwood and I figured, well, I wonder how that smells like. It's sweet. The figs, it's actually really nice, actually. Fig is actually a fruit that I, I don't mind. I'm not a big fruity person, but fig, I don't mind fig. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, might need to purchase a little bit more of that and I do rebag all of my scent shot clamshell because it's easier for me to store them in these bins and to me I like it to be more to me it's more organized to have everything in the same form if you know what I mean like other than have scent shot and different shapes and I rather have them all in bags so that way my eyes think they're all uniform if that makes sense yeah I mean, there's nothing wrong with the scent shot or anything. It wasn't broken or anything. Everything came packaged in box. It wasn't in bag. Uh, um, it was in box. But everything came with perfect. But like I said, I just prefer everything to be in bags. I got a plum tart because um, since I'm a Sensi independent consultant, there is this sweet plum pastry that everyone was raving about. And I was like... Mm. Is that the same like plum tart? Because I've never smelled sweet plum pastry. So I'm going to try different plum thing. And then when sweet plum pastry is offered, I'm going to see if I like it. But um, yeah, no, I don't like this at all. Like it is. 
it's fruity berry kind of thing not not my not a favorite probably not a repurchase not don't need it in bigger quantity this is good enough for me to try I also got um, bergamot and white tea which is bergamot lemon orange green tea instead of white tea which is weird jasmine amber and musk The tea scent, the green tea scent is strong. The bergamot is not as strong. All I get is tea right now, which I really like. I love tea and coffee. Tea for nighttime, coffee for morning. Um, I'm a creature of habits. I coffee in the morning has that's the first melt of the day. It's a coffee scent. <clears throat> and tea, mint or lavender for nighttime. I also got blue sugar. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know how much I love blue sugar. Blue sugar is a great blender. It's sweet. It's masculine. It will tone things that you don't like down. So for me, I use blue sugar to blend things. Ugh. You know how people use cotton candy um, or <coughs> um, toasted marshmallow or vanilla? Be Noel. I like to blend things with blue sugar or pink sugar. Um, also, salty sea air because I'm a big fan of beach night. So I tend to blend stuff with salty sea air as well, which is ozone, salty sea spray, seaweed, driftwood, and water lily. It's also that fresh, sweet scent. So yeah. And then, so this is a blend, which is sea mineral and wood, which is salty sea air and wood woods. So, see? It's more, it's more heavy on the wood scent and that salty sea air, that sweetness is very light at the end. <clears throat> I don't know, smelling all these things is not really good for my throat, I gotta admit. All right. I also got a uh, blue fluffy fluffy pillows, blue lavender, palma rosa, toasted toasty marshmallow. This oh, this is so good. Oh. oh, this is good. That blue lavender. I don't know what's the difference between like all the different types of lavender, I gotta admit. Um, so I don't know what blue lavender is. I don't think it's blue sugar because yeah, it's not sweet at all, but that, that's good. Uh, Sasha, I picked this up because of you, Bonsai. I only picked it up in a small quantity because I'm like, uh, I'm not sure if I like tree scent. This Bonsai is a tree. Um, I'm not a big fan of pine. I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, fir needle or anything like that. So I'm like, oh, bonsai is a tree. I know she said it's fresh, but I'm like, oh, it's still a tree. So let me just get, you know, a two ounce and see if I like it. Actually, four ounce because there's four of this. I like it. Um, I don't love it as much as you do or uh, as she does, but. <clears throat> I think I can love this if I sweeten this up with, say, blue sugar or um, maybe something sweet, like a sweet lavender in there to sweeten this up. It, it, it smells a little bar soap right now to me um, with a little tree added. It's still fresh. I think that's where the freshness come in. It, it smells like bar soap, you know, like Iris Spring or um, Dove or... I don't think there's a bonsai soap out there, but it's that's what it smells like to me is bar soap because my mom uses she still uses bar soap to this day. She she prefer bar soap over uh what is that body wash. So yeah, I know what bar soap smells like in that. This smells like bar soap to me. Which brand? I'm not sure, but that's bar soap. I also got Lady of Miss Wood, which is patchouli, sandwood, citrus, and vertebra. <clears throat> vetiver. Oh, and this is good. Sweet, sweet patchouli sandalwood with a little hint of citrus. So Lady of Misrule is like Lord of Misrule, I think. Yeah. But that is good. 
and like I said, I just buy multiples of scent shots, plop them out, put them in bags, make my own little ba big bags. Apple bath, apple bath is a love. Love apple bath in all vendors. I've not found an apple bath in any vendor that I was like, oh no, I don't like that. So, because I like lemongrass and bergamot and citrus. Oh, and what not to like. The lemongrass is strong. Lemongrass is such a great scent, such a great herb. It's, I think it's an herb. Yeah, I would think so. But yeah, love it in cooking, love it in scent, love it in face wash. <clears throat> this is more of a wake you up kind of thing when you're tired. You melt this and your whole body is like, okay, wake up. Yeah, this is a great scent. And then I got, so I got Spa Weekend, which is lemon blossom, white tea, vanilla sandalwood, lemongrass, black currant, jasmine, and musk. Oh, and this is, this is very clean. It's almost laundry-ish. That white tea is really strong as well. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't hate it. Like, let's get it straight. I don't hate it, but it's not my spa weekend, I guess, if that makes sense. Uh, I gotta, I gotta melt this to see. If, if it was a little bit sweeter, I gotta say, if this was a little bit sweeter, I would like it a little bit more. So I think maybe a little blue sugar or even a little salty sea air maybe to sweeten it or even like a sweet um maybe like a sweet lavender would be good in here yeah like that sweet slumber one i think that would be good in here yeah and then i got two laundry scents one is clean cotton which is lemon lime green apple cedar jasmine lavender lily violet freshly washed linen <clears throat> Oh yeah, it's a fresh, like, it's it's fresh wash, lit, like, it's still in the washer, not in the dryer yet, I would say. It's good though, I like it. Also got uh, clothespins, which is fresh, laun fresh clean laundry. And then I put a note, because when I was doing this, I smelled it, and I put a note, and I said, I like this more than clean lawn, clean cotton. So clean cotton would be like wet clothes and clothes pin would be like dry. If that makes sense. It's sweeter. And that's why I like it more. It has a sweeter scent. It has everything that um, clean cotton has to me, but a tiny bit sweeter to my nose. And I don't I don't know why I prefer it sweeter that like that. So I probably can make like this sweeter by adding like blue sugar, salty sea air. Um, lavender, lemon. It's lemon, citrus, and lavender. It's good. That lemon is strong. That lavender is strong. Oh. This is a good clean scent for when you are frying fish, which we don't do in this house because my husband is allergic to fish, anything that's fish, anything that's fish scent. So we don't, we don't eat fish. I mean, I love fish, but we don't do it. We don't eat any fish in the house. Also got um, black, amber, lavender, amber, lavender, black myrrh, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and clary sage made myself a big bag it doesn't come like this made it myself because i'm like i just order a bunch and then just put it in a bag oh and this this is good like i said i could totally do this with the spa weekend to sweeten it up and that i think that would go really well i think black amber lavender and spa weekend would be really that that would be my spa weekend that would be my sunday saturday sunday light bulb ding see 
watching Sasha videos gives you idea on how to or inspiration on how to blend things together and she's she you know she's totally right put the two like if you really want to put them together smell them together and see how you like it or if you buy such big amount chop maybe half of this and half of that put it in a warmer see how you like it and then if you like it do a custom of your own or just buy send shot like this and then just blend your own thank you Sasha <clears throat> I also got lavender chamomile, which is exactly like what it is. It's just lavender and chamomile. It's a sweet lavender. Oh, and that's good. I can also do this with the spa weekend and that would be nice too. Or maybe this and bonsai. I think this and bonsai would also be nice. Oh, all these ideas, the sky's the limit. Tobacco leaf and amber. Oh, tobacco leaf and amber would be nice. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, that's so good. Warm honey, tobacco, citrus, and spice. I get that honey scent. Oh, and I thought I wouldn't like honey because I'm like, sometimes honey is a hit or miss with me, actually. That is nice. Oh, good thing I bought a lot of that. Sweet slumber again. Lavender, vanilla, fresh cotton, citrus, floss, floss. Citrus, floral, and moss. Oh, it's not as sweet. Like I said, it's not too sweet. So, sweet slumber, tobacco, leaf, and amber together. Could be really good. Yeah. Oh, mixology over here. I'm thinking about all cool mixing things that people already have probably been mixing. But hey, it's going to be new to me, so that's okay. Black chamomile, coconut water, chamomile tea leaves, wild lily, tonka bean, tonka, tonka bean, which is a BBW type. Oh, sweet deliciousness. That coconut is very light in the background. All of these sweet scents will, would go great with those non-sweet scents <clears throat> that I have. Last is... Um, I got two like a shaving cream kind of scent which is shave and a haircut which is lemon bergamot mint lavender sandalwood cedarwood amber and musk after shave type it's not as sweet because if although it has that musk or not musk but the amber in there I get the mint I get the lavender and I get all those wood and that lemon scent so it's more of a strong after shave And then barbershop 1920 amber ray bay rum and musk and then i also put a little note i like this one more than shave and a haircut i wish i bought more of this because this is sweeter because of that amber but the other one has amber too i think it's the bay rum in here Ugh, but it's good like i said i can totally make that one sweet with tobacco leaf and amber add more amber in there that would probably be well go good maybe throw in a little blue sugar pink sugar so that is my haul um, from Kay I have already placed another order with her that is coming soon and I'll probably hop on and do once I do a little bit mixing and matching because I'm gonna let these cure for a little bit more I know she's a ready to ship vendor but I do I do I know Sasha's gonna be like, girl, what have you have you learned nothing from me? She's a ready to ship vendor. Melt her stuff. And I do, I do melt her stuff, but I do also cure my wax. I do, I do, I have the date on there. So I received this on the 15th of March. So I probably won't get into it. Like I'll melt it very little, but I won't get into it until April of 15th. Yeah. I do let my wax sit for a month. So I don't discriminate I actually let them all sit for a month and if they sit and they still don't perform then they're going back into the bin because I know there's a vendor out there that you need to let their wax sit for at least three months to six months to a year and I have a lot to like go through so I'm okay with waiting if it's gonna give me the, the potential kick that it does and I know Sasha's gonna hate like not hate but like she's gonna say well 
if she doesn't offer it anymore, it's your fault. And I know that. But I'm okay with like I'm okay with like getting because now I think I know what I like and what I don't like. Um, I'm just gonna order and let it sit and then see how it goes. Pretty much, like I tried. I already tried um, black amber lavender in my bedroom the other night because I'm done with my. I'm so over melting green stuff. I'm like, okay, I cannot do another green the other night. I was like, I'm sick. I need something good, and black amber lavender was what I put in it it was so good so I know it, it performed well so far but I just need to let it sit for a little bit longer that's just me though so thank you so much for watching um, if you guys are new to my channel please consider subscribing um, hit that like button hit that notification button you know so that you can be notified when I upload a video and leave a comment down below what scent from case you think i should try i don't like fruity i like floral but i like lavender floral if that makes yeah i'm not into like the daisy or i like roses but it's very i'm very picky on the floral but no fruity no berries hate berries hate is a strong word i dislike berries right now i have not found a berries that i'm like oh um yeah Mm -mm, no berries please and so yeah what blends are you guys doing I've kind of I'm gonna play mix and match I'm gonna blend from here soon and I'm gonna give you guys my warm review um, I am melting away my green basket so that's almost done I'm actually going through a lot of wax which is a great thing I'm also gonna do soon a coffee little video but just coffee love my coffee Love, love coffee. Oh my god. I didn't know I like coffee. Why well, know I love to drink coffee. I didn't know I like to love to smell coffee as well. But yeah, until next time. Thank you guys. Bye.